A relationship is a beautiful union to be in. Love, care and trust are the bedrock of a great relationship. There have been many relationships that thrive on this bedrock. Very little or no relationships can thrive without trust. The mistake people usually make is thinking you only need love to be in a relationship. The truth is, love is never alone and love is never enough. Love has so many components that makes it thrive. Sometimes we wonder why being in love is never enough. We love someone but cannot keep a relationship with that person. It is common knowledge that we are only sure of the people we love. We have no idea people who love us or not. Humans are deceitful in nature. They lie and pretend to be in love with you just to get what they want and after they do, they break your heart and leave you helpless. There are many ways to know your relationship would be a happy one. Truth is, if you are sensitive enough, you should be able to tell if someone is in love with you or not. The signs are usually there, except you choose to ignore them. Sometimes we ignore these signs because we are really in love with this person and really want to be with them. We ignore the signs that show us that they are not interested in us. We do anything to get ourselves into their life and most times we get disappointed. Of course, we would get disappointed as there is no reciprocated energy. Even if the person finally accepts us, there is a constant fear that the person might break it up at any time. This fear would not make you enjoy this relationship. You would always look over your shoulder to make sure you are doing the right thing to keep this person. You will have to invest more of your energy and effort. Investing energy and effort in a relationship is, is not a bad thing. In fact, it is required, but it's also required for your partner to meet you halfway. If your partner does not meet you halfway, it gets too much on you and your energy gets drained. This setup can never get you happiness in a relationship. You need to be in a relationship with someone you love and you're sure they love you right back. The idea of forcing yourself into a relationship with someone you love should not exist. They might be your kind of people, but what if you are not their own definition of a partner? Some of these people would even accept you just because they feel you've invested too much money, time and energy to put yourself into the relationship. This means it's never about love, it's, it's, it's about pity love. This also means they can bounce out of the relationship after they feel they have paid you all they owe you. Some of these people even accept to be with you because you have something they want. In most cases, it's money. We see this in our everyday life. Almost all of us know someone at least that is in a relationship because of money. They do not even hide their motive these days. Some still hide their motives though, and this set of people are even worse. They drain your time, energy and money, then they leave you to be with someone they love. They mostly cheat on you. All these things are actually things we cause for ourselves because most of the time the signs are boldly written on the wall. We choose to ignore these signs for selfish purposes and at the end we reap what we sow. These could easily be avoided when we go into a relationship with someone who loves us. There are numerous ways to know if someone loves you. The person shows all the components of love. The person does not just tell you he or she loves you, the person shows you. The person cares about you unconditionally and would never make you beg for their love. These persons would never take you for granted. They make you feel safe around them and they always look for ways to fix you in their plans. The problem is that when we see these kinds of people with genuine intention towards us, we tend to take them for granted. We feel they would be around forever, so we are never even scared of losing them. We prefer to chase after people who do not care about us. Only when you go into the relationship with people that reciprocate your energy and love you right back, would you find true happiness in your relationship. Only then would you be comfortable to be you and not being scared of them leaving you. There is a different kind of joy when you know your partner chooses you and would keep choosing you every day. Relationships should not be hard work. It should be enjoyed and relationships can only be enjoyed 
when you're in it with the right person. Another sign you would be happy in a relationship is when you let God make the choice for you. We often think we know enough to choose who we go into a relationship with. No human knows any human completely, not even siblings, not even parent-children relationships. We just have an idea of someone created in our head, probably due to the way we love them or otherwise. Mostly, the idea of a person created in our head can be due to past experience with that person. When someone has betrayed you in the past, you're most likely not to trust that person anymore and your brain automatically classifies the person as a bad person. Of course, you would not want to go into a relationship with that person. Only God can tell when someone is being genuine or not. We sometimes paint a picture of someone perfect in our mind just because we love them. We become automatically blind to their faults and whatever they do, we find reasons to justify it. Putting God in charge of choosing a partner for you is a sure way you would end up with a good person. God is the all-knowing. There is nothing hidden from Him. He knows what we do indoor and in the open. God knows our intention even before we carry them out. Leaving your choice of a partner to God's hand is a perfect thing to do. When you put God in charge of something, when you commit something into His hands, He would never fail you. God will prepare a perfect partner that would compliment you. Everyone has someone who compliments their personality. This is one of the major mistakes we make when choosing a partner. We do not put into consideration people who compliment our attitude. When we let God choose our partner for us, He finds someone that draws us closer to Him and not someone that would cause us a rift between us and God. God gives you someone that helps further strengthen your relationship with Him, someone that puts you in prayer always, someone that would remind you to always take your problems to God, someone that is ready to go through that test of faith with you, someone ready to be there with you during trial times, someone that would remind you to pray, someone that would pray for and with you. When you are in a relationship with such a person, this brings peace of mind and you are automatically happy in that relationship. God knows what you need, even though sometimes you passionately go after what you want. When you pray to God to show you the way and you are hoping God gives you a particular person, that is not how to commit things into God's hands. You keep thinking about one person throughout the whole day, then at night you dream about that person, then you wake up and think it is a sign from God that you should be with that person. That is not a sign from God. That is a sign from your subconscious. You already intentionally plant that person in your subconscious and you are just following through. When things do not work out between you and the person, you turn to blame God for your predicament, not knowing you just got carried away with your own desire. When God chooses a life partner for you, He does it meticulously. Anybody God chooses for you to be in a relationship with you can be sure that you would be in a happy and loving relationship with that person. So, putting the choice of a life partner into God's hands is definitely the right thing to do. Being with someone that loves and cherishes you as much as you love and cherish them is definitely going to lead to a happy relationship. Also, letting God choose who you go into a relationship with is also a perfect way to end up in a happy relationship. God knows best and He wants the best for people who involve Him in every step they take in their lives. God would never disappoint you if you let Him choose a partner for you. The two of you can definitely run back to Him when things get tough. Place your trust in Him and watch how beautiful your relationship gets.